Hey guys, welcome back. This is Donkey's Clear Gaming for the, I hope, last part of episode 4. And Rebecca's about to have a baby. Yay, or not, I don't know. This crowbar to open to break the lock. The lock. Oh, it's already open. It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. Je Jesus, Clementine, it's just not. Uh, Seriously? We were just. What's going on? Well, uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kent. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh, oh, God. There you go. Just oh. rat it out. Oh. Oh. I'll be fine. We're doing uh, everything we can. Right, I have pills. pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? Looks like oxy. I want them. Wait, wait, is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills. Okay. They're coming up the stairs. Okay, they yeah. were like instantly. Sure you you want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. What do I do? Whatever you can, Clay. I think I'm better with that. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here they come. We can't let them up Whoa, 
don't tell me it's dead. What's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know. About the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold them? No. I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. you while mama gets your beauty sleep you never forget that smell smart kid. I hope you're okay. Sure. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. Make you feel like you do, like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove, you'll see. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm 
I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke, of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Jane. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Luke no. didn't do anything wrong. Not now, Claire. Look, Shut up. I'm sorry. Okay, I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to race him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa! Whoa. What are you talking about? <coughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. That won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. But that Sorry. doesn't sound like she's going to make it. Okay, babe. It's going to be all right. Exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't going to get no better back there. We got to find food. Get her someplace warm. This looked like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Back off, 
Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Oh, shit, is it? Arvo? Yeah, right. Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck da, da, da. before everyone else came. You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Buff! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у их не... We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. Show what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. This is how it has to be. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my air! We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них родничковый ребенок! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking don't move! I said don't move! Can you watch this yet? Saved Sarah as well. Huh. It's it's pretty equal with the rubbing thing. Okay, yeah, uh, there was um something. I don't even know what to say to that. So I just you know, play the end credits.
Okay, yeah, so that was episode four. There's only one episode left. We lost many, many people in this episode. Nick and Rebecca and Sarah. And again, I wonder if there's anything I could have done. And I really do hope that at the end there will be a statistic of um, all those people who have survived. Like I said last time, there was... Or was it with, with um, The Wolf Among Us? No, I, I think it was with the first season of The Walking Dead. When it stated that 7% uh, of the players, these characters survived, and uh, with that many percent of the players, these characters survived. So you knew... You really knew that these people could have survived. And I'm really curious about that, and I hope that we get the statistic at the very end as well. I wonder if if I had saved Sarah instead of helped Jane, if Jane would have stayed, because I really, really liked her. I hope she comes back. But, yeah, if she's not coming back, I wonder if she would have stayed. If I would have helped Sarah. So, yeah. Um... Pretty dire situation right now. And yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for the final episode. Bye!